these are the mothers, the faces of the mothers on the amiable website showing that mums want better. Just like the suffragettes, they wanted a right to know, a right to choose. They wanted to know about their members of parliament and in this case the right to know that the birth trainer exists. So intelligent mums who want better found out about, about a birth trainer that their own College of Obstetrics and Gynaecology did not tell them about. And here we have, this is Epino website. Episiotomy non is the promise in the title. And that's the Epino website, Episiotomy non. No cut to mum if you've widened the opening for baby to 10 centimeter diameter which is the maximal opening in the bony pelvis there's no reason to cut skin and muscle the floor the muscle that supports all the intestines stopping them falling out of the lower tummy um, this is the Amy Ball website Epino went worldwide in 1999 Amy Ball 2014 um, what is the difference between the two? Clearly, Epino is blue, Amiable is pink. Um, if we look at YouTube, we have Amiable versus Epino. It's produced by the Czech company and it's all in Czech. But very quickly, using Google Translate, um, thing I've understood from the YouTube is that the epino is when it's inflated takes up the form of the shape of a pear and therefore it tends to slip out and the advice on epino website is once you've inserted the epino device you keep your knees together to hold the device inside the vagina or birth canal whilst any ball has a separate balloon and that balloon that's inside the birth canal expands above the pubic symphysis therefore it's anchoring the device and it doesn't slip out um, both have sheaths you can put on top so you can uh, ensure sterility I've made a comment on the bottom of that website um, the original trials with Epino just washing the balloon with soap and water and the mum using the balloon on successive days did not result in any infections and it's the same with your partner if you have a partner and he washes himself with soap and water he makes love with you there's no infection likewise so soap and water although Epino say you can boil the balloon or after each use I think it's not necessary. So the advantage of any ball, not only in the cost, but in the fact that the part of the balloon that is inserted into the mum's birth canal actually expands to a greater extent and thereby anchors the device in it so the device doesn't slip out. Now, going to... These are... This is a Peruvian brass casting or uh, birth educational casting showing that you gently widen the opening for baby in the lower tummy using eventually the fingers of both hands four fingers of both hands pulling sideways to achieve that 10 centimeter diameter opening um, this is the carving on the 11th century church in wales that in a may gaskin shows in her talk reducing the fear of birth in u.s culture on youtube again four fingers of both hands widening the opening for baby opening doors for baby to 10 centimeters that's the logo of easier birth association um, the other advance is enabling mom 
to be in a vertical position. Neither birthing chairs that are common and very popular in Europe to decrease risk of sepsis as baby's head takes up the whole area of the lower pelvis, pelvic outlet. It pushes out any poo in the large bowel and if mum's vertical it falls to the ground so it doesn't contaminate the opening to the birth canal decreasing the risk of sepsis. So mum's sitting vertical and dad's massaging her back to ease the backache. Um, we have an NHS which is now asking for donations. You can maintain that vertical position by resting your forearms on the headboard rails, kneeling on the bed. Or you can be in a doggy position on all fours, which will enable any contents from the large bowel to fall away from your body. Um, this is uh, showing earlobe stretching, earlobe skin expansion, which has now become popular. And this is the way that the African tribes people non-verbally communi communicate their joy at having realised that skin can be stretched painlessly gradually over six occasions opening doors for baby to 10 centimeters with no tearing no breaking the skin no risk of bacteria getting in causing infection abscesses sepsis and death of mother so the african tribe people rejoice and stretch not only the earlobes but the lower lip and the neck in a, an attempt to communicate this fantastic technique that saved mother's lives and enabled mums to have 12 children so this is the epino birth trainer 10 centimeter avoiding episiotomy the epi comes from episiotomy the non shortened to no the, the promise in the title is no cut episiotomy non so i argue that episiotomy in 2020 is totally avoidable by two birth trainers together with the traditional method of using the four fingers of both hands should be resigned to the history books it is a devastating sadistic barbaric procedure that should be in the history books no mum should endure the excruciating pain of hot salty urine entering through skin muscle and irritating the cling film lining the peritoneum which is very sensitive of the lower tummy causing tears to run down her cheeks uncontrollably every three to four hours as she passes urine hot salty urine into that wound that enters her lower tummy because she's drinking lots to keep the milk flowing for her baby and it's totally avoidable here's the episiotomy which you'll find on wikipedia um, the midwife would insert put local anesthetic in and make the cut through skin erectile tissue nerves artery and pelvic floor muscle the foundation to the lower abdomen and peritoneum to enable baby to come out of mum's tummy quickly when there's fetal distress indicated by the baby's heart rate failing to speed up after the uterine contractions this mum is clearly happy she's got teddy ready on her tummy and she's used epino episiotomy non no painful devastating cut to her lower tummy um, please help save finances of our national health service because if you cut through this muscle that forms the foundation to the lower tummy in middle age you get prolapses prolapse of the front wall the urinary bladder the back wall the rectal wall and the uterus and it's not a particularly fantastic operation and then five ten years on it invariably around the menopause as the uterus has gained in size from fibroids requires a hysterectomy 
So please save the NHS finances by stretching skin, avoiding the episiotomy. The German birth trainer costs £99, the Amy Ball only £60, or you can use the technique, the traditional technique of stretching skin with your fingertips. This is the review on Amy Ball. Van der Klamen, first time mum, only pushed three times. A 4.4 kilogram, nine pound baby. She was born 42 weeks, which is post days, hence her weight was bigger. Um, but normally, no forceps, no cesarean section. And she said when I communicated with her through Facebook that she did achieve 10 centimeter diameter opening. Angelita Willis, mum, wed midwife, and hypnobirthing teacher, Swindon successfully gave birth to baby in occipital posterior OP position, a back-to-back -back baby, a devastating delivery for both baby and mum, on her first birth without forceps, without a pisiotomy. Sophie of London, pain in the old episiotomy scar resolved on achieving 10 centimetres using epino. She'd had the pain for two years following the birth of her first baby said, I don't want to go through all the episiotomy, 14 days of excruciating pain, torture, as mums describe it. So she bought the Epino Delphine Plus birth device and had no tear, no cut with the second baby. She too opened doors for baby to 10 centimetres and avoided any damage. This is obviously a very happy baby because no forceps marks on baby. And if you recognise the lady in this newspaper article, it's Vogue Williams. The Irish model reveals how she prevented tearing during baby son's Theodore's birth with labour preparation. The labour preparation was Epino Delphine Plus. And as you can see, it's blue. And there's the Amy Ball, which is pink. Um, if you have a look at reviews on the websites, that's the Epino you will see pleased to have delivered my first baby with no tears Gianna of Slough my obstetrician commented on how stretchy my perineum was which was why she did not perform an episiotomy she had baby laying across her tummy a transverse lay which required forceps but she was the obstetrician managed it without doing an episiotomy, less pain for mum, less risk of infection, keeping antibiotics working because we've not used the antibiotic, bacteria hasn't seen it, bacteria can't get resistant to an antibiotic, it's not seen. So that's a new mum in Suffolk, very impressed. Um, this mum, Joanna of Northampton, used Epino for all three of her babies and didn't have any tears with any of them. Um, there was a back-to-back -back, occipital posterior, nine pound, ten ounce, first time birth without forceps, without fetal distress, and that was Holly. Um, unfortunately, Ruth, uh, the recurrence of what I've seen when I was in Leicester, a full urinary bladder prevents a normal birth because it blocks the outlet. And Jodie of London, she had three pushes and in nine minutes gave birth to to her baby and within two days of giving birth she, she felt normal um, here we have another review by Lottie of London my baby was £8.10 came out hand above head so the elbow was pressing against the wall of the birth canal which is the reason she tore but she would have had much worse tearing with such a large baby £8.10 had she not used the product uh, Ruth, that was what, just another one. This is my correspondence with Vanda Klamen, in which she basically said it was a first time baby, 4.4 kilograms, and she'd reached 41 weeks, and within three pushes, she managed to push baby out. There's some original uh, literature of Amy Ball. Showing Valheim Horkel, the German obstetrician that went to Germany um, and then from Germany to 
Africa and was amazed how damaged their mothers were in Africa and learned that they used gourds of increasing sizes to gently open doors for baby and on returning back to Germany developed the world's first birth trainer in 1999, Epino. And there was a trial, 2009. This is the prospective randomised multicenter trial with the birth trainer Epino for the prevention of perineal trauma. And as always in history, we have, because of low recruitment, we were only able to randomise not 450 but 276 patients. Prejudice of midwives and obstetricians in encouraging mums to volunteer. Um, prejudice against this new device were some factors for the low recruitment, so an underpowered study. So the government does not know is it cheaper to do emergency cesarean sections, forceps, one twos, episiotomies, or is it cheaper to provide every mum with epino? And the answer remains unanswered. So it's in the court of mums. Here we have Cochrane Collaborate, who say basically anterior in front of natal birth, before birth, perineal massage or opening doors for baby. Women should be informed about the benefits of fingertip digital antenatal perineal massage. There's no mention of any expensive oils. There have not been any trials that I know of that required oils. The massage requires, refers to the very gentle stretching of baby's head that doesn't damage baby's delicate head with each uterine contraction that widens the opening to 10 centimeters. It's not massaging skin, it's stretching. Which position to give birth in? The jury is giving birth on all fours, the doggy position. That way you're encouraging baby to take up the position that faces mum's back. So it isn't a back-to-back -back baby. And the most modern view is no hands-on baby. Here we have a breech birth, which would normally be a forceps birth. And the International Journal of Obstetrics and Gynaecology had a, have got YouTube video 2016 and is written up published in 2017. Um, delivery of Frank Breach neonate in a hands and knees position on all fours and no hands on baby. You can see these are the baby's arms, forearms crossed perfectly across its chest. This is the umbilical cord providing oxygen to baby during birth. It remains uncut. We no longer cut the umbilical cord even if it's wrapped around baby's neck because once the contraction has eased the artery has got a strong muscular wall and will pump oxygenated blood from the placenta into baby so no cutting of cord here we can see baby's nose chin there's the arms in full that's the umbilical cord she's tall hence the blood um, because there was no birth canal widening, so no hands-on baby. Seems the most modern view. A major cause of death in the West is from hemorrhage or bleeding. So by shortening birth, the uterus contracts, remains contracted, and isn't tired, decreasing the blood loss. And both Epino and Amybor achieve this. Um, what is interesting is that in the Lancet, uh, Lancet, 21st of October 2006, amniotic fluid embolus and medical induction of labour. Um, Population-based cohort study by Dr. Professor Michael S. Kramer et al., his whole team in Canada. Factors associated with increased risk of amniotic fluid embolism, which could be mod could be influenced, are fetal distress. So if you shorten birth, 
you avoid fetal distress, instrumental vaginal delivery, forceps and von twos. If you have no fetal distress, you don't do forceps. And caesarean sections, well, you no know, need to do emergency caesarean section. So amiable and epino and opening doors for baby to 10 centimetres or perineal massage to 10 centimetre diameter could decrease mums having a very serious condition called amniotic fluid embolism um, post delivery or during delivery. Shortened birth, shortened time of pushing, less risk of amniotic fluid being pushed into mother's circulation and amniotic fluid embolism AFE. No need for von Tu's camp forceps or caesarean section. So if you have a look under mum's dying childbirth on Google you'll find dentists uh, Liz Curtis lost consciousness in labour and died of amniotic fluid embolism. Um, we also have Alison Wacklawack Wack Wack, um, on YouTube, 31 year old, first time mum, pushing against closed doors and opening that hadn't been stretched to 10 centimetres. North Buffalo um, complained of nausea, which is what happens when your blood pressure suddenly falls, mum feels sick. Uh, it was in labour and she died of amniotic fluid embolism. So there's a chance that was in 2019. A chance to save the lives of these mums. Other deaths that could be prevented. We have 8th of August 2013. Heather Nichols, first time mum. Uh, Age 29, died as a consequence of a pizziotomy which became infected resulting in necrotizing rotting fasciitis the fibrous coat of the pelvic floor muscle 